Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Animal Crossing. Every day. That's the game show where I play Animal Crossing every day. Hi. <laughs> One of these days I'll get really good at doing intros. Probably not today, though, as I've already done it, and this is it. But maybe tomorrow you're going to have to listen to tomorrow's episode to find out if I get any good at it. I, I have a spoiler for you. <laughs> The answer is no. All right, let's see. We got some letters. We got some numbers. What uh, What else have we got? We got some cherries. Would you like a cherry? I wonder what sign the cherry makes. You know, as a mother, I'll never let go of my precious memories of you. Like those fabulous, fun-filled 46 hours I spend in labor. Oh, dear. We have a special offer today at Stunning Green Counter. There's always a wide variety of other items as well. Why not stop by? Because I'm busy. I have a lot of things on my plate. Such as two, four cherries. I had to count them there. How many cherries? Today's game, how many cherries? It's four. If you said a number that wasn't four, sorry, but you lose. You're going to have to go home in shame. You're going to have to go home and tell your mama and your papa that uh, you're an embarrassment to them. I know, I know, nobody wants to have to go home and say that. Listen, trust me, if anybody knows that, it's me. I have to go home and say that on a consistent basis, you know. I go home, my parents are like, did you get the milk today, son? And I'm like, <sighs> well, <laughs> funny story. You're not actually going to find it funny, but it is a story. No, I didn't get the milk. That's it. And then my parents are like, oh, God. The easiest of tasks seem frustratingly difficult for this small child of only five years of age. For that is my age. Or is it? What day is it? Sunday. Oh, I think we've missed. It's afternoon. So we can't get the turnips. Oh no, and also yesterday was Saturday, which meant it would have been KK Saturday, and we missed that too. Oh no. I'm not good. Alright. But who needs good when you've got fun? Am I right? I'm also not fun. <laughs> so really, I have nothing going for me, which is excellent news. Alright, four cherries, get out of here. Spot the difference. Four cherries, three dinosaurs. Well, spot the difference. The difference is one of the dinosaurs isn't a dinosaur at all. So if you got that wrong, you're going to have to go back to your parents' house in shame. And let me tell you, I know all about that. Good Lord, I do. Like uh, My parents are like, uh, hey, you get, do you get married yet? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, uh, to a person? And I'm like, oh, eee, I got some bad news or good news, depending on how much you like roller coasters. And they're like, you didn't get married to a roller coaster, did you? And I'm like, mm, maybe. Hello, Mitzi. Oh, I wonder if Mitzi wants me to do something for her. Maybe I can not disappoint Mitzi. Nope. All right. Well, nothing for Mitzi. Goodbye, Mitzi. Did the best I could. My parents notoriously hate roller coasters. I couldn't have married anything worse than a roller coaster, to be honest with you. It's a disaster all around. But then I'm good. I'm glad because if they went, if they took a trip on the roller coaster. Oh, there's another fucking squiggly dink. But I can't get it. Land in a tree. Maybe I can just spit it at it. <laughs> Land in the tree. Oh. My ass. Where do I get a slingshot from? I know. Wait. <gasps> it landed in the tree. Oh my gosh. We got it. Oh. Oh, Nelly. I can't believe this. This is amazing. I'm not going to disappoint my parents today. What do we got? 
Ooh, I hope it's a slingshot. Ooh, it's gonna be amazing. Let's have a look. It's an alarm clock. You know, your parents are like, hey, did you get the, the present that was in the balloon? You're like, I did, parents, I did. And they're like, what was it? And I'm like, um... It's an alarm clock. Mm. It's an alarm clock. And they're like, well, I don't know how you did it this time, kid. But you really disappointed us. My goodness, this couldn't have been worse. An alarm clock in a present carried by a balloon? It's my worst nightmare. And I'm like, I know, I read your blog. It's, it's weird. There's a lot of weird stuff in there. Who could have predicted the alarm clock as a present being carried by a balloon scenario? But it happened. Anyway, do you want it or not? Where do I get... Hey, Tom... Where do I get a slingshot? Where do I get it from? What do I have to do to get a slingshot around here? I don't see a sting dang slingshot. Nowhere. That's something for me to look up. I'm going to have to double check that. Because I want a slingshot. Just in case. But that's two times. That's two times I've seen a balloon. So. Wouldn't want it to be a third time. Anyway. On we go with the show. Um, oh, hello. What's this? Is un fossil. That's German for one fossil. No, it's French for one fossil. German for one fossil would be ein fossil. Or whatever the word fossil is in German. <laughs> I come back home. My parents are like, did you learn German, son? And I'm like, yes! Technically, they're like, what does that mean? We don't like it when you put technicalities at the end of things. It usually means no when you put a technicality at the end of something. I'm like, I can say one fossil in German. Un fossil. And they're like, oh, God. This guy? We got to be related to this guy? It brings shame upon the family. But, you know. I'm I'm blissfully unaware, so that's fine. You know what I mean? Kind of um, willfully ignorant. Is that what they say? I don't know. I don't know what people say. I don't listen to them. You know, I come home, and my parents are like, "Do you listen to what the the preacher said, there, son?" And I'm like, "I don't know what a preacher is." What is it? What? Excuse me. Hi. My parents are like, don't you understand? Oh, he's going to take the clock. You need an alarm clock. I'll buy it from you. Oh, my God. Yes, take the clock. This is amazing. Oh, my God. I actually did something right for once. I come home. My parents are like, you sell that alarm clock? I'm like, yeah. I fucking did. You right there, bud? Okay. I was like, yeah, dude, I fucking sold the alarm clock. And they're like, did you sell it for a loss? And I'd be like, well, first of all, I got it in a hot air balloon. So I got it for free. There is no loss. If I sell it for one dollar or one pound or one ruble, one yen, then I'm already up on this transaction. However, I sold it for a considerable sum. To an idiot. And let me tell you, man, if I know one thing at all, it's idiots. And my parents are like, whoa, look at this money you have. How did you do it? I'm like, well, I speak the language of the idiot, which is English, but bad. <laughs> Not a good version of English. And they go, I see. Excellent work. What can you buy with this money? And I'm like, oh, nothing. We don't accept bells in this. Um, environment. So I sold over 2,000 bells. But of course, that is not a real currency. And they're like, well, you disappointed us again. I don't know how you did it. You did it. I always find a way. And they're like, well, I gotta get up early in the morning. You still have that alarm clock? And I'm like, mm, I 
sold it. I sold it for bells. But real bells. Clank, clinky clank bells. So that like you ring them and they go ding ding. I sold them for bells. We got 2,000 bells though. If you ever need somebody to wake you up with bells. We got bells. Clink clink. Wake you up. And they're like okay. Well who's going to wake up the person. Who's going to clink clank the bells to wake me up. I'm like, oh, you've got me there, parents. You've got me there. I feel like we've we've dived, uh, delved into a situation that I can't answer, which is very easy to get myself into because I don't know the answers to lots of, of questions. So this is just one more of them, really. Another scenario that I don't understand how to get out of. Uh-oh. But you get used to it. Being a constant disappointment, you get used to it. Hello. Nice afternoon, isn't it? It really is. The day I'm recording this, it's a beautiful day. But I don't know what day I'm recording this or where I am at this present moment in time. But it seems like a nice day. But nice is also... Um, would you like this exquisite wall? Okay. Here it is. Oh, do I have to give you money for it? No, I guess I can just have it. Thank you, Coco. I like Coco. I'll send her a present. What if I give her back the <laughs> thing she just gave me? <laughs> oh, boy, that's funny. Hey, is Stu in? I haven't seen him in a while. Let's say hello to him. Just for something to do. Oh, there you are. You're in the corner. Sorry, you blended in with all of your furniture. You're talking way too fast. Okay. I just wanted to come and say hello. I want to let you in a secret. You want to hear it? Uh, yes. I heard that if you dig holes in certain places, oh. You're the disappointment to me. I'm the disappointment to my parents. And Stu is like, hey, have you heard? If you put a, if there's a hot air balloon and it has a present and it goes into a tree, you could shake the tree. You could get the present. And I'm like, thank you very much for that information. You have really changed my life. I'm not going to say whether or not you've changed it for the better. But the life has been changed. In some shape or form. So congratulations, Mr. Koi. You did it. Hey, there's still a letter there. Is that the letter I sent to Mitzi? You haven't posted it yet? You dang dang bird. You dang bird. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get myself a better post office than this. This is ridiculous. I come here because I expect service. Half decent service at least. But this kind of shoddy business, I don't know. I don't very appreciate that. Alright, so I got some letters from Mama. I gotta put away. That one's all full. Mama sends me lots of letters. Lots and lots of letters. Oh, that's from Red. I can, I can, I can, I can throw that away. I don't need that. Yeah, that's it. And I also want to deposit some money because I made so much money selling my alarm clocks. It's ridiculous. There we go. All right. So that's that. Can I put this away? Yes. We made so much progress today. I want to go back to my parents like, did you make progress in your life? I'm like, yes, I did, parents, I did. And then they're like, do you mean in your real life? Or the weird Animal Crossing game? I'm like, um, don't, you're asking the wrong questions here. Why don't you ask me nice questions that I could just... You know, things that don't have any follow-up <laughs> where I can't get in trouble. Hey, that's all right, man. I'm going to put this one down here, too. Drop. I'll keep them there. So I'll always remember where they are. They're on the floor. That's my system, and it works. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching today. This was a good one. And we'll see you in the next episode. When will that be, you probably ask yourself. Well, have I got good news for you. It's actually tomorrow. It's that's correct. They're all the same time. So if you want to see more Animal Crossing, tune into the channel tomorrow for more Animal Crossing. You don't know what's gonna happen. 
I don't know what's going to happen. Probably something to do with bells and shovels. But we'll see. There's only one way to find out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs>